Hello everyone, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. I'm Alana and welcome back to our Chakra Balancing series. So today we're moving into our Heart Chakra. So the color that represents this chakra is green. And lots of green today. Um, and it's connected to our love and understanding, our emotional power and how we feel about processing our emotions as well as our compassion for others and other living beings. So we're going to start with a little bit of affirmations and meditation. So just closing your eyes here, taking a nice deep breath. And as you breathe out, just really landing here on your mat for this practice. Becoming present as you listen to the sound of your breath, as you inhale and softly exhale. Breathing in through your nose, breathing in a nice white cleansing light into your heart space. Watching that white light really cleanse and wash your heart and then, then as you exhale, the exhale taking with it anything that is no longer serving you or your heart chakra. Take a nice deep breath in and watch the breath circle around that green energy heart space. Watch as the breath brings nourishment to this chakra, to your body. And as you exhale, it takes all of the toxins with it. Now you can repeat after me, either in your mind or out loud, whatever is feeling good for you today. I am worthy of the purest love. I am worthy of the purest love. I direct love and light toward myself. I direct love and light toward myself. I live in harmony with all living beings. I live in harmony with all living beings. I release and let go of all resentment. I release and let go of all resentment. Taking a nice deep breath. And sigh it out as you exhale. Make it audible. One more nice deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, sighing it out, softly blink your eyes open. And from here, we're going to move into our tabletop pose. So just taking your time, finding your tabletop, knees are under hips, palms under shoulders. As you take a breath in, the belly drops and the gaze rises to your cow pose. Exhale, moving into cat. Just a couple of rounds of cat cow here, just to get the spine and energy flowing. Using your breath, so as you inhale, dropping the belly, and as you exhale, rounding and pushing everything out. One more like that. And exhale. Coming back to a neutral spine and tucking your toes now. Taking the hands just a little bit wider if you like towards the edges of your mat. And as you exhale, moving into your downward facing dog. 
right away here, inhale, the left leg is, oh sorry, you're taking your body weight into your left foot, and the right foot slowly comes up and paints the wall behind you. So you exhale, drawing it up in between your hands, left knee drops down, inhale up to your low crescent. Really shining the heart here. Exhale, palms come down. From here, taking the body weight into the right foot, pushing up on the left so that you come to your forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding into your forward fold. And then from here, rolling up one vertebrae at a time until you come to standing. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come down either side of the feet and we're gonna pick up and shoot the right foot all the way back. Right knee comes down to the ground this time. Inhale up. To your low crescent. Shining the heart forward, really opening through that heart space. And as you exhale, palms coming down either side of the left foot. Plant your hands here, shoot the left leg back to plank, and then slowly lower yourself all the way down to your mat. From here, coming into baby cobra, so squeezing the back muscles, using the back strength to pull yourself up and through here. Nice little back bend, exhale, release. On the inhale, slowly moving your way through tabletop, all the way back to downward facing dog. Take an inhale here, body weight moves into the right foot, left foot comes up and paints the back wall behind us. Exhale, bringing it up between the palms, right knee drops down, inhale up to your crescent lunge. Little back bend, heart open. Exhale, hands come down either side, up on your fingertips here. We're gonna push up on the back of the right toes. Bring them all the way to standing at the front. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then from here, rolling up one vertebrae at a time until you come to standing. We're just here for a moment. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up. Exhale, forward fold. Planting the hands either side here, and then this time picking up the left foot, shooting it all the way back. Left knee comes down to the mat. Inhale up. Shining the heart forward. Exhale, hands come down either side of that right foot. Picking the left foot back up so that we can come to plank. As you exhale, lower all the way down to your mat. On the inhale this time, coming up to a full cobra, so coming up a bit higher, moving into that lower back, lower spine space. Remembering to open through the heart here and exhale, slowly lower down. On the inhale, tabletop, tucking the toes all the way through to downward facing dog. On the inhale, taking the body weight into the left foot, the right foot comes up and paints the wall behind us. On the exhale, lands between the palms at the front of the mat. We're not going to drop the knee this time, so we're going to come up to our high lunge. So making sure that you have those legs in check, you're high on the back toes. Front knee is over the ankle and then very slowly moving the upper body. We've got that foundation set. Inhale, arms come up last. High lunge, maybe taking a little bit of a back bend here and shining the heart forward and open. And then on 
on the exhale, turning that back foot parallel to the short end of your mat, coming to your warrior two. Arms are out nice and straight. You're gazing over those front fingertips. On the inhale, flip the palm. Reverse warrior. And then exhale, cartwheeling down. Hands come either side of that front foot. And this time, on the inhale, just raising the right hand up, coming into a nice twist. Right hand plants down, coming to your plank position, lowering all the way to your mat. And then inhale, up to your cobra, nice back bend. Exhale, lowering all the way down. Coming through tabletop all the way to your downward facing dog. And this time taking the body weight into the right foot. Inhale, the left foot comes up. As you exhale, drawing it into the chest, landing between the palms here. Checking again for our foundation. So the front knee is over the ankle, high up on those back toes. Now that we've got that, slowly rolling the upper body up to center. As you inhale, reaching the arms up. Maybe now going into a little bit of a back bend as you shine your heart up towards the ceiling. Exhale, turning the back foot parallel to the short end of your mat. Arms come out, warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse warrior. As you exhale, cartwheeling down, hands either side of the front foot. And then from here, inhale, lifting that left hand up. Nice little twist here. Remember to breathe. Exhale, hand comes down. Back to your plank pose, lowering all the way to your mat. And then inhale to your cobra. Exhale, rolling forward. All the way through, downward facing dog. And then from here, just slowly walking your feet up towards the front of your mat. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. Bringing the feet together this time. So toes together, heels are a little bit out apart. Bending into the knees. And as you inhale, coming up to your chair pose. Sitting back into the heels, keeping the weight in the heels. You could lift the toes if you needed to. Arms are an extension of the spine. Trying to see if you can pull your arms back a little bit here and let the heart shine through. Exhale, folding down to your forward fold. And then from here, slowly moving to seated. So coming all the way down until We're actually going to take a seat on our knees and our feet. We're going to come up into camel pose, so get comfortable here. I like to keep my legs just a little bit like hip width apart. And then from here, just coming up to, up onto your thighs. And when you're ready, Take a nice deep breath in, hands are on the hips to begin, and then as you exhale, slowly making your way back, bending first, using the hands to support your lower back. If that's where you need to stay, that's perfect. Just looking up. If you want to go further, taking your hands onto your heels, shining the heart forward, pushing through the heart, and pushing forward through the hips, allowing the neck to 
relax here. And when you're ready to bring yourself back up, hands come onto the lower back, taking a seat. Close your eyes here for a moment, put your hands, rest your hands one on top of the other in your lap and just breathe. Back bends can be quite intense and they can bring up a lot of pent up emotion and things that we might not have necessarily dealt with. So just give yourself permission to feel what you're feeling, take a nice deep breath. Come back to the sound of your breath and we're going to do camel pose one more time so coming back up onto your thighs take a nice deep breath in hands are on the hips and when you're ready slowly moving back this is just your first level okay if you're happy here that's good if you want to go further taking it to the heels pushing through your heart and your hips. And when you're ready, bringing the hands back to the hips, lowering yourself back to seated, one hand on top of the other, maybe the opposite hand, just close your eyes here for a moment. Take a breath. Sigh it out. Nice deep breath in and sigh it out. Let's do that one more time. Nice deep breath in and as you exhale, sigh it out. Okay, from here we're just going to move slowly onto our back. And we're going to come into our first bridge pose. So bringing your feet up as close as you can to the glutes, taking your hands down and so that they can press against the ground to support you. Maybe I like to, before I go up, kind of roll my shoulders back because I know that I'm going to be pushing through my heart in a yoga bridge. And when you're ready, take a deep breath in and exhale, pushing up through the hips, moving into the heart, pushing the chest up towards the chin, rolling back onto your shoulders if you can, keeping the knees and toes facing in the same direction, a couple more breaths here, and when you're ready, releasing the shoulders, slowly rolling your spine down to the mat. And if that felt good and that's what you would like to practice one more time, stick with your bridge. If you're practicing wheel with me, then we're going to bring our hands either side of our ears so that we're getting ready to push ourselves up through the heart and hips. And then the first step when you're moving into bridge, if you're brand new to this practice, is to come onto the top of your head first making sure you've got that foundation and then pushing up through your heart and hips, keeping your feet planted, taking a breath here. And when you're ready to come down, coming back onto the head, slowly lowering it down to your mat and then bringing the hips down. Maybe just do a little wind wiper action with the knees here. Just side to side. And then we're going to move into our happy baby pose. So bringing the feet up. Maybe you want to take hold of, you know, the backs of the thighs if that feels good and just drawing them towards your shoulder, your armpits, sorry. And if you can, taking hold of the outside of the feet and just pulling them down so that the soles are facing up towards the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in. 
Feel this opening through the hips. Just here for one more breath. And then when you're ready, giving your knees and your legs a little hug, maybe rolling side to side on your spine a little before sending them all the way out, resting your legs, resting your palms and arms facing up. Take a nice deep breath. Sigh it out. Just listening to the sound of your breath here and giving yourself full permission to let it go. Remember, you are worthy of the purest love. You are worthy of the purest love. When you're ready, blinking your eyes open, beginning with softly moving your fingers, your toes, your ankles, your wrists, just a little gentle awakening. And then coming up to a comfortable seat for you that works for your hips and your lower back. Just to close our practice here. So taking a nice deep inhale, bring the hands to your heart center. I honor the light within you that is also within me. Namaste. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this class. I really hope you enjoyed it and would really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Um, I have plenty more yoga classes coming and a few more left in this series. So thank you again so much for watching. Thanks for your support and yeah, would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Enjoy.